this elderly sage gave a course, a beautiful course, how to be better husbands. And he gave us the craziest, most counterintuitive advice. Every night when he was speaking, I was thinking, this is ridiculous. And then he would say, go home and practice that. And the next week, my wife would say, go back, learn more. So one night, he said that if a couple's not spending private time together, two to three times a week, their relationship is headed for a crash. Now, when I heard this, I was so confused because it was the first thing he said which had made sense in 20 weeks. I knew I wasn't understanding him properly. So I walked up to him after the class and I said to him, Rabbi, when you say I should spend private time with my spouse, what do you mean? At which point he looked at me like, wow, you're a bigger idiot than I thought. So I said, no, no, I understand what I think is private time, but what do you think is private time? So he said to me, tell me something. You ever take your wife out to a restaurant? So I said, yeah, sure. He said, find a restaurant where there are none of your students. Set up the chairs right across from each other, 180 degrees, throughout the evening. You should whisper. So I said to him, why? So he said to me, don't you feel how small the room becomes when you whisper? So I tried this. Don't do this unless you're married, yes? Extremely effective. Now, <laughs> I went back to him and I said to him, where on earth did you get that? Like, I was sure he was like reading psychology books in the bathroom. So he said, I got it in the Code of Jewish Law. I'm like, yeah, right, where? Laws of, laws of dating, you know, like, come on. So he says, no, right here. And he pulls off the Code of Jewish Law, opens it up, puts it down in front of me, laws of prayer. He says, it says right here, when you want to create an intimate moment with your God, what do you do? He says, you take three steps back from the whole world. Find a restaurant where there's none of your students. Then he said, you take three steps forward. Sit right across from her. And throughout the evening, you should whisper. He said, why do you whisper? How loud would you speak if you knew that her ear was right next to your mouth? And he said, and why do you have to talk? He said, because God is head over heels in love with you. And he just wants you to join him in that relationship. And the hottest organ of intimacy in the entire human body is right here. The more that you open up and the more that you speak, the more that you fall in love. 